Is it really worth spending over $700 for custom in-ear monitors? And do these $60 headphones live up to all the hype about them? Well, in this video, I'm gonna compare the RSM Quad Drivers by Allclair. These are custom in-ears that cost over $700. I'm gonna compare them with the KZ ZS10 Universal Fit headphones that cost $60, and believe it or not, these have five drivers and the all clears only have four drivers. So keep watching this video to the end because you will gain some clarity on why you would spend the money on custom in-ear monitors versus just picking up a cheap pair on Amazon that still, quite frankly, does the job. Coming up. brought to you by Worship Leader School, where you're gonna find all the essential advice, training, and support you need to plan and lead worship. Visit worshipleaderschool.com or click the link below in the description to learn more. My name is Jake Goslin with churchfront.com, helping you lead gospel-centered and tech-savvy worship. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos to help you grow yourself and grow your church. And make sure you check out the show notes below for links to where you can purchase both of the headphones that I'm gonna talk about in this video. So now let's dive into the comparison Comparison, and I shot this comparison actually three weeks ago and I'm just getting around to shooting the intro portion of it and I'm not wearing the same shirt today. The lighting probably looks different, so that's why you're about to see things change a little bit right about now. In-ear monitors are becoming an increasingly popular solution for a lot of church worship bands these days because with in-ear monitors, your mix is gonna sound better at front of house because you have less stage volume with the floor wedges and with in-ear monitors, you can use a click in backing tracks in worship. But one challenge a lot of us are facing is finding affordable in-ear headphones for our worship bands because not all of our band members can drop hundreds of dollars on high-end in-ear monitors. And that's why I ordered this pair of headphones. These are the KZ ZS10 headphones that run for about $60 on Amazon, which is very reasonable considering that they've packed five drivers into these headphones. Drivers are the little speakers that produce the sounds at varying frequencies of your music. So the more drivers generally bring greater clarity to the sound of your headphones. The fact that they put five drivers in here at this price point is mind boggling. So let's go ahead and remove them from the box. So in the box, we have the earbuds, and then we have a bag that has the cable, and another little bag that has the extra earbuds. Here's a closer view of the earbud itself. I got this blue red design, and then it's transparent here in the shell. So you can actually see all the little drivers inside. Tech specs wise, the design's pretty simple. These headphones have five drivers, and of those five drivers, one of them is a dynamic driver, and the other four are balanced. And my understanding is dynamic drivers cover a wider frequency range, and the balanced drivers have more uh, focused emphasis on different parts of the EQ band that you're hearing. Build quality. Quality-wise, my initial impression, they do feel pretty cheap. They're plastic, so I don't expect these to stand up uh, to the abuses of my worship ministry, but we'll, we'll see. My least favorite thing about KZ headphones is the connectors that they use to connect them to the headphone, the cable to the headphone. I just feel like it never really is super solid. So I'll go ahead and get these cables connected the nice thing is that it feels like these cables lock into the earbuds a lot better uh, than the KZ ZST $20 earbuds that I got from them. So that's nice. I won't have an issue with these earbuds flying off of my ear and onto the ground. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put them on. We'll talk about comfort and the look of them. They go on pretty easy. I like the, the cable, how it goes back behind my ears. For some reason, they don't put that little rubber thing that tightens up the cable behind your head. I think that's a must on headphones these days. Uh, but overall, tell me how they look. Does it look like I have these big old blue things in my ears? Because that's what it feels like. They don't feel super secure. I have heard that getting better earbuds will help these fit better and sound better, but I wanna test these uh, like they are straight from the box. So now it's time for a listening test. I'm going to plug it into my laptop and I'm gonna pull up some music.
when I laid it down. Find me here at your feet again, reaching out, I surrender. Not bad, not bad at all for $60. My initial impressions when I first heard the music through these things is that there's clarity. I think there's great high-end clarity. Um, but then as the, the rest of the band came in and the, I was listening to kind of some fuller sounding stuff with, with bass and um, lots of other instruments going on, it just felt thin. It wasn't just as beefy as, as what I'm used to. And I'm actually really interested now in comparing these to my All Clear uh, RSM quad drivers. So here are my RSM quad driver headphones. I've been using them now for over a month uh, in a worship band context and they sound fantastic. I have never had any uh, headphones sound nearly as good as this. And I'm not expecting the KZ ZS10s to sound nearly as good as this. Obviously the price point, there's a huge quality difference. You know, these just feel so much sturdier. Um, you can just tell there's so much better craftsmanship that go into these things. Who knows how many labor laws were broken making these cheap things in China. Um, but these quad drivers by All Clear, um, I feel like they're very balanced and clear sound. I have low end, but not too much. I have the high end, but not too much. And they're supposed to be uh, like reference monitors that have very balanced sound across the EQ range. So I don't, it's not boosted or cut anywhere. So now I'm going to do a comparison in the sound between these quad drivers and the KZ ZS10s. So obviously the fit is a lot better. They're custom molded, so they fit in my ear really well. Um, they isolate really well, and they look better because they're not these big old bulky blue things sticking out from the side of my head. Now let's go to part of the song, the same part of the song that I was listening to. Switch those out for the KZs. Not bad. So I went back and forth with these different pairs of headphones like a billion times to try to uh, hear what, what the differences are. Um, and to be honest with you, there's not an astronomical difference in the overall clarity, sound quality, bass. They're actually both very flat sounding headphones and they, they both sound great. And of course, I'm not an audio expert. I do not know the nuances of listening to the different frequencies. But again, it's like for your average Joe, if you were to put these two headphones in sound quality wise, you probably wouldn't know which one's which. So all of that said, if you're looking for an affordable pair of headphones that's less than $100, give these guys a try. You know, obviously read all the reviews for yourself and what other folks are saying. Overall, most of the reviews are positive on Amazon, but there's some people who said, oh, they just randomly stopped working on them. I think that's the minority. Um, it's probably not a high chance that that would happen to you, but you never know. So give these a try for yourself. Um, explore getting some different earbuds for them, maybe a better cable as well. But if you have some serious money to spend on headphones, then I obviously recommend All Clairs. I've had great experience with these RSM quad drivers so far. They look great. They feel great. They sound great. They just, they're going to last long. I can just feel it in the build quality of these in-ears. I've included a link to both of these headphones below in the description of this video so you can pick up a pair of these the KZ headphones on Amazon or you can check out All Clear's website. You know, the purpose in doing this comparison is I thought it would be kind of fun and it would intrigue your interest to know what is the difference between $60 headphones versus $700 headphones. So let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Let me know if this comparison was helpful for you. And finally, let me know what headphones you're using in your worship ministry. It'll give me more ideas of what headphones I should check out and review. And that can also help other folks who are searching for great in-ear monitors for their worship band. 
And before you head out, I want to invite you to check out Worship Leader School, where you can find all the essential training, advice, and support you need to plan and lead worship. Click the link below to learn more. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, hit that thumbs up button and share it with all your friends. You can check out some related in-ear headphone videos right over here. And don't forget to subscribe to the Church Front channel so you can continue to receive all of our latest content to help you grow yourself and grow your church.